Hello, it's Mark on Torch Jeff from Mark on 3D, and today we're going to be creating some 3D characters. <laughs> All right, let's start off. So the first character we're going to be creating is one for the uh, animated short film, and we're going to go with the Buttsman, Mr. Isaac Butterfield. Um, obviously, you know, because it's an animated short film, it doesn't have to be exactly like him, but I would like to um, try and get as close as possible to him. Um, so there we go. We've got his picture over there to the side just so I can reference it and Let me just pull it that there so I can see just in case somebody sends a message So from here what I'm gonna do is straight off the bat. I'm just going to load kind of like a default character and Then kind of use him as a basis now Technically I can use headshot in reillusion and that means I can get the image of somebody's face what? and slap it onto a 3D model. But I can't do it with this because there's a beard. Welcome, J <laughs> underscore underscore. Um, but because he's got the beard, the mesh goes all funky. So we can't really do that. So what I'm gonna do is just start off by d uh, deleting the jacket. Let's come into here. We'll change the pose to the default. And then I can come around. Now, fortunate, I can't have that in the top. Dang it. And obviously if I do that, that's not going to be very helpful. <laughs> um, can we minimize this section? Yeah, we can, but it's not the same. All right, so unfortunately I'm going to have to keep that reference over onto the second side, second screen. So let's start off. What I'm going to do is go straight into the morphs and we'll come down into the headshot and now I've already got the headshot head shot add-on. And the real cool thing is I've got all the pictures here. So let's start off with the skull. Let's check it out. Nope. So he's very much got a square head. Um, and you can't really tell from this jawline. So I don't actually know what his actually bottom line is. Chris, welcome. No worries, mate. You're more than welcome about the Sprite Sheep video. Um, now, apparently there's an add-on, which does all that for you. Uh, it's called like Sprite Sheet add-on or something. Um, but I guess it's kind of good to see how to do these things manually. Um, especially one of the last videos that I did with the motion capture. So obviously, you know, you can use Auto Rig Pro, which kind of um, does a lot of the stuff for you. Um but you kind of don't know how it actually works underneath. So doing that manually really showed you. So let's have a look at the nose, the nose here, um, very much Australian nose. I think he's got a bit of a bigger schnozzer um, and kind of like it's down a lot further. So I get staffed, put it over there. So let's work on the nose. All right, nose depth, we can probably bring it up a little bit. Nose height, I kind of want to do the dip. I can't really do that. So let's control Z on that one. There is just so many options I can do to adjust this face. All right, now I can't do that one. So I'm just gonna try and do a front on to start off with. Um, what have we got here? Can't see anything there. What I need is that, here we go. So something like that definitely the nostrils would be a lot bigger yes there we go so if we kind of we can see that now that you're ready that nose is a lot bigger we want the nostrils um, bigger as well uh, nose tip nose tip nose tip obviously here we go nostril scale so something like that Brian welcome Whoa, it spiked up to 21 people. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, what else are we working on? So we can see his nose. Definitely kind of like this skin texture needs to be removed. That's something I've got to work on afterwards. I kind of want to get the core of the face and the head shape. So we can see that the ears need to pop out. Um, and then from there, We'll see if we can find a secondary image of him. I think he's got very small lip. We'll check that. 
um, and we'll pop out the ears as well. So this chin I'm fine with because we will put the beard around. The bald head I'm fine with. Now I did have a kind of uh, um, a weird tutorial that came out yesterday about creating textures by painting. That's going to be more relevant in tomorrow's tutorial, but we will use it today. Um, Cause obviously my format, as you guys know, is very short, sharp, straight to the point tutorials. And that would have just added an extra five, six minutes to a tutorial that, you know, didn't need it. What was I doing? There we go. Okay. So mouth is fine. There ears. Okay. Let's do the ears, 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 and kind of these ones pop out a little bit ear height let's just check the ear height where does that go so that's about in line actually it can go a little bit lower i would say a little bit lower well it seems a lot lower um we need to have these ears kind of come around wow look at all that like you can adjust the top of the ear wow that is so cool fire out this thing um, come on, I want ears out. No, I want them rotating out. Ear depth, ear scale, ear. There we go, that's the one. Right. That looks a little bit weird, but that's fine. Back depth, no. Ear top angle, what's that? Nope, not that one. Actually, we'll check that. No, so that seems fine to me. I did see ear detail somewhere. Here we go. Ear depth. Da, da, da. Maybe that's not too bad. Imps rule. Welcome. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not wearing the Garnock shirt. I need to lose some weight. Um, that's me. So definitely very much we've got the square head happening. Um, the ears are now a lot better. I think the texture to the face we need to change. Um, it's got too many blemishes. I'm trying to see if, if I can go into the mail. Uh, I'm trying to find to see if we can change the texture. Skin template, high resolution. Whoa, we're going to get banned for that. Um, apply okie dokie and then let's get off that screen hurry up Ugh. that seemed to have changed did that undo all my stuff control z <laughs> yeah let's do that <laughs> oh no it was just the skin shader okay that's fine um, let's maybe grab this skin shader Essential skins. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, let's try that one and something a little bit brighter. Ah, jeez. Hey, bums. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's uh, let's do that one a little bit later. <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll fix that one up, won't we? <laughs> Post. Um, okay. I'm not going to change the skin right now. We'll come back and change that one a little bit later. From here, I think the eyebrows need to go up. Um, let's just see what other photos we've got. This is a good one. Sunken eyes. It's fine. When we're doing the hair, we can see that the hair is going to kind of come in and definitely balding happen up there. The ears are looking pretty good. Eyes seem to maybe be a little bit closer. So let's bring in the eyes. I, 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 I. Come on, give me some eyes. Uh, or maybe that might be under head. Let me have a look. Head width. Nope. Face. Nope. It's got to be under eyes, and we've got to bring those eyes in. That's scaling the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll edit that bit out. <laughs> so this video won't be live. 
straight after this goal. I am trying to find, oops, let me just turn off that phone, unfortunately, there we go, turn that off, eyes opening, no, I need to bring them in, scale, let's just put it in, uh, scale, eye scale, let's bring it all down, tear ducts, I mean, we can even change the size of the tear ducts, how crazy is that? Far out this thing. Eyelashes. Da, 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 da. Really? Eyeball scale? Nope, not that one. No, not that one. So it's definitely the eyes. I'm trying to, maybe the skull? No, because that's all the back of the head and top of the head. Face, head. No, where is it? What would it be called? That's nose, ears, eyes. Eye width. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's already all the way in. <laughs> That's a little bit too much. Um, let's bring that maybe to about there. Eat your heart out, Sky. <laughs> I know. I mean, this is the whole reason why I bought this. So definitely I gotta replace the shader, which is really unfortunate, but that's fine. I'm gonna go with this. So let's just go file, save project as. Um, we will put this in my film thing character uh CCR underscore uh CC3 underscore Isaac save. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab this and just export it out to Blender. So file, file export fbx clothed character we're going to blender we're going to mesh because i don't want any animation associated with this at the moment let's export and now what we're predominantly doing is um just bringing this out thanks claude <laughs> what pair character jumping up Thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. Um, and what we're going to be doing with this is more just creating the beard and the top of the head. Um, and then we'll worry about the skin shader later. I'll probably do that offline so I don't get demonetized. Oh, that was kind of bad. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so let's now jump over into Blender. Now, this tutorial is coming out tomorrow. I just got to edit the video. Um, and there'll be how to use the hair tool in Blender. So let's select everything, delete, file, import, FBX. Let's go find our character, which was not there, which was in there. And then the racer, characters, Isaac. There we go. Let's import this character. And then we can go about starting to create the face. I'm not going to worry about the, the shape of the body just yet because it's more, I kind of want to get the face looking half decent. So yeah, I think we got that quite well sorted. I think maybe I've got the cranium a little bit too big. Um, but like I said, let's just first work on getting the head right. So he's already going bald. So what I'm going to do is select, oops, let's deselect that. I'm going to select the top section here. And I think I've gone a bit too wide in there. So let's deselect them. And then if we come back into our image, we can see that it's the top of the head there. Just this little bit. I mean, oops. We could even probably get rid of this as well. So let's come over into the vertex groups. Image, uh, new vertex group. And we'll call this hair underscore top. So we've got the top of the head. Hit assign. Don't forget to hit assign. Uh, have you seen defaults keeping on and create your face from a photo? Yes, I have. Um, but with headshot, I can just slap it on here using this. Um, I've actually got a tutorial on using headshot on here. Um, but yes, I have seen that one. So from here, let's go the next vertex group. This one is going to be called, um, hair underscore full because I want the full head of hair and so let's grab all that whoops 
see deselect that let's select all these come down and around and we will select all that Ooh, does that look I think it looks okay let's have a look so it seems fine maybe what we'll do is maybe we'll grab those two vertices on either side see and then that'll kind of fade off into there. Um, does it go into his beard? That's the next question. So let's just check that outside of his head. So yes, it comes back down and around. All right. So we kind of, we have this section here. Let's get rid of that. So that would mean something like that's not too bad. Maybe we grab that section in there, that section in there. There we go. Whoops. And then we assign our full head of hair. Now we create another vertex group and go hair underscore side. Now I can come back into top, deselect the top, and then we can go into hair side and assign. So now we've got the two vertex groups. So we've got the head, uh, the top of the head, and we've got the sides. So obviously the top of the head will be longer and the sides are gonna be very, very short. Right. So now let's deselect everything, go into object mode, come down into particle settings, create a new particle system, go into hair, goes all over the body. Let's change it to 0.05, five centimeters long. To me, that sounds pretty good. Let's come down into vertex group, density, hair, top. And so now we've got all those tears. Um, let's have a look. I'm sure he has preferred character, which is definitely preferable. Now, yeah, I, all the way character creator. It just makes my life easier. Like, I, I'm terrible at character creation. So, <laughs> so, and that's another thing. I think we've discussed this on before. So the character creator is like 300 bucks, but if you calculate yourself and you pay yourself $10 an hour, it'll probably take you 20 hours to learn to create a character like this. So that's already 200 bucks. And then every time you go to create another character, it's probably going to take you 10 hours to create something of this quality, texturing and all that kind of stuff. So that's already three, 300 bucks for one character where I can just create a buy a character creation set done. And hopefully within the hour I've pumped, uh, smashed out two characters. Okay. So from here, um, we go into the particle editor editor. Let me just bring uh, in our hair tools, create settings. And so what I'm going to do is kind of give it that, um, Emma look, <laughs> Uh, let's just bump up the strength. All right, so we've got that. And then we'll probably end up puffing it up anyway. Oops, come on. What are you doing? Okay, and let's come into the side here. I'm just going to do that. And then I can come in here and just cut off this section. So we've got that looking. Yep, that looks to me good. And then we've got the option over here to puff. Whoops, maybe that's a little bit too strong. And then we'll come over onto the top, a bit of puffing. There we go. And now what I can do is come up into interactive grooming. And then we can see that we've got our cards coming off them, um, off the curves. From here, I can go tilt alignment. And so now that's not too bad. So if I come into front view, go into object mode, um, we bring in the, this photo, which was what we were referring to. We can see that we could probably bump this up even higher. So if we come into this section in here, interactive grooming still on, let's just puff that up. All right. 
and subtract will it go down oh my goodness it does go down and so around the back here I'm just gonna make it go down a bit um, let's groom it so it's not oops let's just strength lower the strength now it looks like crud like from this angle yeah, it's not too bad from this angle it looks like crud but we're gonna fix that um, and that's from last night's tutorial if you guys have watched it if you haven't make sure you subscribe to the channel um, and that's how we created a hair texture so let me just quickly fix up that shader here if we come into eyelashes and then we go opaque we change that to alpha hashed alpha hashed and there we go so that's looking a bit better with the body I think head and then body we go specular we turn that down turn that one down there we go so now it's got a nice even line do learn paradise welcome good good <laughs> all right so i'm fairly chuffed with that so from here i'm going to select the mesh control shift h to bring up the radial menu of the draw um the hair tool thing curve ribbons to mesh 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 to mesh ribbons let's select that and now this is its own mesh so we'll call this hair underscore top from here we go back onto the body go into the particle settings change the density to hair signed yes from here ah from here we go delete edit yes that's fine and now we've got it all there i'm going to make this all about one centimeter long cool bananas then we go into particle edit and then let's kind of draw these in oh gosh i'm terrible with sculpting so we're going to kind of quickly draw this in all right okay we're getting there i'm just going to bump up that strength there we go kind of like that straight down we've got some stray hairs down here which we'll fix up afterwards so from here, if I go interactive grooming, we can see we've got these terrible hair cards. Let's now go into generate children, um, include parents, and then I might just bump this up to another 500. Uh, placement jitter, let's just increase that. And once again, it looks like crud. Let's increase the strand width, I believe. Yep, strand width to maybe one. And then we can see that's now increased. I think that's a bit too much. Let's go back down to probably point six. Yes, yes. Interactive grooming. Let's kind of just clean them up. It'd be nice if randomize. Let's go randomize. And let's go point oh five. Oops, we've got a bit of a, there we go. There we go, come on. But you can see that we've got like a stupid amount of gaps. Come on. Um, let's make sure tilt alignment is turned on. And then if we come into this section, yeah, we can see that it's it does look like rubbish. Let me just put in some lights just so we can see a little bit better. Light, point light, G, shift D, shift D. Let's select these both, throw in all of them, bring it up, and this will be my main light, and we'll just bump that up to maybe 30. All right. Uh, I'm not too worried about the color of the hair at the moment. It's more the placement. How do I feel about this here? I, oh no, it's too late now. I've already done that. Whatever, that's fine. 
What I can do now, this is the more crucial part. So let's select our body, no, select our mesh, control, shift, H, curve ribbon to mesh ribbon. And so now this becomes hair underscore side. And so now we've got our two meshes. From here, I'm going to select this thing, the body, come into materials, head material. Let's create a new material. No, minus that. And we'll call this one head, skin head, duplicate the material. Can we duplicate a texture? I think we can. And this will be um, painted. Ah, ah, you know what? Stuff it. Let's just, I'll just override it for now. So from here, what I'm going to do is go into our textures, create a new texture, open and documents, hair. And so this is the hair texture that created from yesterday's uh, tutorial. We come up into the top here and change texture to tiled to stencil. And so now we've kind of got this wonderful hair texture. Whoops. All right, let's bring it up. I'm just going to move this over. And so we, what we're going to do is kind of fill in these gaps. What I might do is I might just turn that on. And now you can kind of see that we're now filling in the gap behind oops, the hair. Obviously what I can do as well is with all the hairs that I don't like, I can just kind of get rid of. Um, and this is where I'm not too concerned about hair color because I'll probably match it later. Okay, get in there, get in there. Okay. And so if I just were to come into layout, some randomness would be good. It seems to be very much kind of flowing the faces, which is slightly annoying, but we might be able to fix that later. It's looking a bit yuck. We'll come back into that. So let's just quickly finish off uh, texture painting. Oh, jeez. Shift. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Control Z. <laughs> Whoops. Let's select that. And then we'll come back into texture paint. All right. There we go. And so I think, yeah, we might try and troubleshoot a way to try and um, clear those hairs. There we go. Like um, to make them a little bit less uniform. Um, what I might do is I might just use the proportional editing tool. Do, 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 do. A little bit laborious, but I think probably ultimately what might would obviously look the best would be actually using hair particles rather than hair cards. Um, but then what's the damage to render times? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I will be doing it in Eevee though. I've learned my lesson. I will not be doing a short film in cycles unless I have a stupid amount of power. So especially with kind of like this section, I'm just going to draw my hair all the way like an edge. There we go. Did I miss anyone? I think I missed a spot here. And I mean, I can even come up into here and kind of draw it in. 
I have no idea where I just drawed. Drew, sorry. So let's kind of oh, just fill in all these little gaps. I'm sure the hair might be going the wrong way, but I'm not too fast. Let's grab that section in there. Probably don't want to paint on his tongue. <laughs> Unless he wants fur balls. There we go. All right, so we've covered that off pretty much. Let's go back into layout. I'm just going to fix these hairs here. So I'm going to select that. Maybe control L to start off with. Shift S cursor to select it. And then we'll do everything off the 3D cursor. Um, rotate. Oh, jeez. Rotate. Z. So something like that. Let's go into proportional editing and make sure we've got connected turned on. Zoom that in a bit. And then I'm just going to kind of put the hair on the hairline. And there we go. A little bit of a laborious task, whatevs. Oops. Pop that in there a bit. Rotate on the Z to hopefully get a little bit smoother. GZ, G to the Y. Control L, where's the top? There's the top. And then we can kind of bring it back. Just some stray hair. I don't know, there was a ding. Why is Ian Herbert in the title? It is because I will be creating his character after this. So I've got two characters that I'm creating. Um, Ian has said he will do a voiceover for me. However, I understand he's been fairly ch um, flat chack. Flat. Flat. Oh my God, I was going to say it. Flat track, track, whatever, with uh, his film as well. Um, so that's why I've put him in the title. But anyway, welcome. And so at the moment, yes, we're just kind of working on these hairs. I think the curve is actually working quite nicely. Okay, come on, rotate Z. There we go. And then G to the Y. And you can see that we're now getting that definition along the hairline. What have we got? Uh, I have not been paying attention to chat. Hey, 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 good, good, good. Uh, hi, excuse me. What is the shortcut to the properties panel? I accidentally close it. Uh, N. Properties panel? Ah, oh, shift seven. Ah, oh, yes, sorry. Thank you. Are you going to... Are you going to shoot Ian? No, I'm not going to shoot him. He's, he's actually semi bad guy. <laughs> so no, I won't be shooting him. There won't, there will be no blood in this one. Um, I have posted the script up before previously. There we go. See, it's coming along nicely. And so we're just kind of world building. Actually, while we're world building, let's just bring up what our scene will look like. Let that load. Okay, rotate that around. Slowly getting there. G to the Y. Rotate Z. There we go, that one's nice. G, let's go rotate Z. We're almost there few more tufts of hair. <laughs> I've been watching the, um, the British guy, like an, um, f f freelance rap. I don't think it's called freelance rap. I've been having a good chuckle at his videos. All right, there we go. How's that looking? Beautiful. We're almost done with this one little bit. See this hair here looks a bit funky, so we'll probably just get rid of it rather than trying to fix it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, it's got a still stranded 
stranded. Rogue hair. All right. That looks not too bad. All this hair, though, looks horrendous. I might just go Control L, delete that one. You are bent in a weird, weird shape. Um, do we have anything that's going through the ear? Not really. What about this side? We've got some craziness happening. Control L, delete vertices. That one and that one. And it looks like another one. No, I want that one. All right, that's not too bad. And I mean, we can come in here and paint. I probably should have done that as well. Select, select our head again, come back into texture paint. And there we go. All right, there we go. Nice. Maybe we'll just, just add a little bit of extra in there. Kind of come down, bring that around. That looks nice. Now I need to, I need to think of a way to give this mesh a bit of turbulence. So what I might do is I might just go L. Oh, how? Okay, let's test this. File, save as. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Will it work? I don't know. T -t 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 um, char underscore Isaac underscore blend. Okay. What have we got up here? Yeah, let me just increase the size of this chat. Come on, I can do it. I can hover over a little area. Oh my goodness, why can't I not? There it is. Okay. No, no, no. Nope, I'm going to kill him. Uh, just for fun. I mean, I could. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, it's time to get back to home. You need to have two windows on the right of the 3D view. I don't know. I've always liked working like this. Music full, welcome. Now then, Malcolm, how art thou good, sir? Thou dost beeth goodeth in thy goodiness. <laughs> so from here, I'm going to control I to select everything else, hide. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to select our hair. Let's select everything P to separate by loose parts. Right. And now we've kind of got all this hair. Interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these, turn on proportional editing. And we will go to random. Will this work? If I just go GZ. Zoom that in a little bit. Uh, which way? Yeah, no, I need to go in. Where the heck is my circle? G. Oh, idiot. Right, so let's then select all this object. So I've got my origin down, obviously in the origin point, set origin to geometry. And then now I can select this G zoom right in. There we go. And so what I'm just trying to do is trying to break up that pattern a little bit. It's kind of working. Um, I think what would probably be good is having different textures as well. Okay. Probably there as well. Okay. So now let's go select all. Control J to join, Shift S, cursor to world origin, object, set origin to 3D cursor. Okay, so we're back to normal. Alt H to bring all the hair back in. 
And I reckon we could probably get rid of kind of like the stragglers down here. Control L, delete vertices. Okie dokie. Let's kind of grab all them. Control L, delete, delete vertices. And then we'll do the same for here. And I have it pointing down. So I don't pick up anything behind. Control L, nope, oh, don't like that. C. Control L, delete, delete vertices. You as well, delete that vertice. So it's amazing just to see painting the texture behind the body to see how much difference is to make. Um, no, they're not dreadlocks. They're kind of just um, planes. Da -da. Yeah, what, 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 what? To go back to the outliner plane and hover over the mouse corner. I have no idea what that's. <laughs> okay, so that's not too bad. What happened here? Oh, did I change the eyelashes? Ooh. Oh, whoops. Let's just change that to eyelashes. There we go. <laughs> That's a bit better. <laughs> All right, you can see these lines here. That's just from the particle system off the body. All right, so to me, that's not too bad. Definitely the facial texture is wrong. However, I don't want to get too demonetized for those of you who are watching earlier. Um, I probably will That's not straight. <laughs> That's not straight. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to select this point. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Let's select all this. Uh, 3D cursor. Just kind of rotate that around a little bit. A little bit more. That's a bit better. Should we a bit more? There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> it's got this weird haircut. <laughs> um, I'm the person who told me to download the pipeline. Help. Download the pipeline. That's, I think that's the problem. That's the licensing problem. Um, if you're still having issues, I'd probably contact Reillusion and go, hey, what's going on? All right. Let's now do the beard which I'm slightly regretting, but it needs to be done. You, I don't know what you're doing. I don't like the cut of your jib. Delete vertices. All right, so from here, luckily enough, this face here already has kind of like a beard shader, um, and that'll help with creating the beard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the face, I'm going to select this lip edge loop. Now, actually, we'll select this one and we'll click hide. Then I'm going to select the inside of the mouth by now going control L and hide. And now I can come in and select both sides because obviously if I hadn't have done that, then I would have been applying a beard to the inside of the mouth, which it's probably fur balls. See how he runs every week and so I'm just going to kind of get the beard happening there we go and probably down and up and into there so that'll be the top of the beard coming down and around and let's go into solid mode and we know that we've kind of got this inner edge Is that the same? I've got this loop. No, that's this loop here. That one there. And then we've got also a Mo. I think we might do it in two parts. So let's go new material. What are you doing, you stooge? Get rid of that. Let's go back into here. New vertex group. And we'll call this um, beard. Did 
I spell that right? No, I'm not too fussed. Hit a sign. Don't forget to hit a sign. Don't be like me and always forget to hit a sign. Let's delete those edits. Let's come down into density, beard. And now we've got that, but obviously his beard is a lot longer. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Technically we could white paint this and have this kind of maybe 50%. Uh, Let's do that. Okay, white paint, white, strength. Um, we'll bring that down to about 50. Uh, what is it? Ah, oh, how do you go? How, what's the subtract? I am not the best with white painting. Get stuffed. 50%. Oops. So something like that. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. Can we, can we, can we feather line? Ah, yes, stuff you. What's this? Ah, pish posh. And then we go back into subtract. I might just go down to 0.2. There we go. My fault. Let's go add. Once again, not the best at weight painting. There's a little bit of. And so now you can see that it's still all around, but I can go length and put in beard. And that should now take into account how much weight because I've got, you know, like 50% here. That means these strands here will be 50% shorter than these ones. Sun Hill, welcome. Done. How, how I get Unreal Engine object in free. What? Are you trying to export it? Because all you got to do is kind of like right click and export. Uh, da, 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 Sun Hill, Cheek Tops, Gaz. Okay, and for like tutorials, and it's helping a lot. Beautiful. Thank you very much for letting me know. This will, there's a short tutorial that'll be out tomorrow on how to do all this stuff. However, there were some dodgy things that happened right at the start, which I've got to blur out. <laughs> So we'll fix that up a little bit later and then this will be all available. Weight paint, I might just add just here. There we go. So from here we can go into length. I might go 0 0.05. So that's not too bad. I reckon we could probably weight paint a little bit less over here. Uh, subtract, go down to here. And let's undo all that. <laughs> and let's just go into particle edit. And just start drawing this beard out. So something like that. Let's go into the front view. Uh, probably the strength. I might just bring that down a smidgen. There we go. How's that? How is that looking? Not too shabby. Technic, I, you know what? I think maybe, maybe it needs to be a lot bigger. Because it's not even covering his neck. All right, let's go delete that edit. That's fine. Uh oh. Uh, let's go into object mode. And then we'll do point 0.1. And how long is that? That's a bit better. So let's go now into particle edit. Um, let's go full strength just to smash it out. And there we go. 
something like so. And then we go into a little bit less. There we go, look at that. That seems to be quite nice. I think we could probably, for those of you who have beards, I have had a beard, not this big, but it's been fair whack. Get it off the face so it's not as itchy there. So there's our beard. Let's turn on interactive grooming. Oh, we've got a few strands that are on the loose. Where are these strands? I don't know. Ah, so I think that's because of tilt alignment because we've got them right on the bottom lip there. And that's why they're a bit rough as guts. Oh gosh. Um, no, 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 no. Back to particle edit. Parent strands. We should be able to see our strands now. What's going on? Just select the body. There we go. Now we go into particle edit. Turn on interactive grooming. There we go. So we've got a few rogue hairs, which I think we might just clean up in post. So for instance, these ones here, let's just delete them. Um, let's go into object mode and we'll select our and then we yeah we just got to change the texture there I reckon um, I do have a texture a different texture somewhere let's have a look no I need to customize the level what do you mean you need to customize the level you can just move stuff around or unless you want to recreate different objects, then yeah, export it, edit it, and then put it back in. All right, that's not too bad. It does look really a bit weird, but if I go into shading, no, into UV editing, um, what I might do, actually, let's come back into layout. Let's go back into the body, particle edit. Maybe let's randomize, child count. Do I need any of those extra vertices? I don't think I do. Ah, interactive grooming. Generate. Can't see. It's very smooth. Ah, okay, that's why that happened because we turned on dun, offset to tip. What do we got? Nothing really. I'm just trying to give it a little bit more um, like randomness. <laughs> Dang it. So I might have to do that again um, in post kind of grab the hair and move it around a little bit. We've got some strands up here that we'll probably get rid of. If I go now to object, control, shift, H. Let's select that. Control, shift, H. Curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. And then we can call this one Z beard. What on earth is that? Ah, okay. That is hair underscore side. Let's go beard. This one here, control L, delete vertices. You too, buddy, control L, delete vertices. Um, I reckon we get rid of these two. Control L, delete vertices. Maybe get rid of this one as well, delete vertices. Thank you for the follow. I just wonder if, what would happen if I do this now. Whoops. Medium point G to the Y. Oh, ah, connected only. So if I go G, Y. And then we can instantly see 
what I've done here is I've gone into the proportional editing tool, tool I've selected random and that'll grab anything in that sphere and move it randomly. Let's move that in a bit because I don't want it so crisp. It does seem pretty thick. So let's maybe select everything, come over into UV editing. What would happen if I moved it over to kind of like less strandy? Yes, that doesn't really work, does it? So let's bring that over like so. Let's scale that up a bit. And then it's nice and straight. But maybe we get, maybe we actually do get some of these other textures. So I'm going to deselect everything, space, select a random. And let's increase that. And I maybe just want 5%. Because then when I do control L, that's a lot. Okay, so let's go control Z. Let's select everything, select random. Let's go 0 0.05. Control L. Okay, 0 0.05 is a little bit too less. 0.05. Let's go 0.5. Control L. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Let's go G to the Y, X. And then we can kind of select that. Did it do enough? Mm, a little bit. Let's maybe go G to the X. Scale that in on the X axis. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide all those faces. And then we'll do again, select a random, maybe just go 1%, control L, G to the Y, oops, sorry, G to the X. And maybe we'll just come over to here, scale on the X axis. How's that looking? Seems to have thinned out the beard quite a bit, which is not too bad. We will do the same thing we did up here. Where's that texture gone? Oh no, 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 no. What have I done? What happened to it? What happened to it? What happened to my head texture? Far out. Texture paint. What the heck? Blender. I didn't close this at all. What the heck? Ah, oh, hang on. No. What the heck about them? Select. That's the head. Okay, all right, there's gotta be, must be another diffuse or something. It's that one. I can see it in that picture. Mm. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We'll come back to it. Anyway, I gotta, mm, mm, ah. <laughs> oh yeah, blender. <laughs> So we'll come back to all that hair and do that again a little bit later. The uh, Let's finish off this character and we're just going to do the Mo. So I'm going to go, hey, thank you, welcome. Let's select our Mo style. Let's actually make sure we've, oops, selected everything we needed. 
and that's all the same. Lovely jubbly. So let's come into the vertex group, create that, and we'll go mo hit a sign. Don't forget to hit a sign. Don't be like me and always forgetting to hit a sign. No, oh, jeez. Nope, that's fine. It's its own mesh. Delete, edit, lose changes. That's fine. Uh, this will be our mo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we'll make this maybe 0.02. I think that might be a bit too big. I'm going to bring this down to about 200. I think that's too big. Maybe 0.01. Let's just check our reference picture. Mm. Actually, we'll give it, maybe we'll give it a little bit of extra oomph, 0.02. And then from here, we can go into particle edit. Do, do, do. Strength. And we'll kind of just draw that that way. Draw that this way. And I think with these here, we'll probably delete those ones. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I grab everything I can there. Yeah, that one, come on, you're this way, buddy. There we go. And you, buddy, you're that way. Lovely jubblies. Use the hair. Oh, hair lotion that on. <laughs> ah, this hair here. Come on. You need to be going that way, buddy. There we go. Ah. So we've got some hairs coming out of the top lip, well, very much the top lip. So we'll probably just delete them as we go on. Okay. Come on, go that way, go that way. And then we've got a few straggly bits here that we will delete as well. Strength, I'll bring that down. Let's go wireframe and we'll kind of just push that back in. Nice. And yeah, I think probably all these ones here on that lip will probably delete. Let's go interactive grooming. Strand width. Let's go point five. Hmm. Point two. So that doesn't seem too bad. Let's go into front view. Yeah, so definitely we've got to put some extra work just in this section and this is where it's going to be important to do the texture painting as well but other than that that's not too bad maybe we'll give it a bit of a puff just to get it off the skin a bit whoops we need to add the puff there we go <laughs> this kind of makes it look like Chewbacca Chewbacca And now it's Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Let's undo all that. Let's bring that back in a bit. So this is what I've been struggling on characters is doing Moe's. And you definitely come up here and we'll fix that up a little bit later. Afternoon, evening. It is currently, oh my gosh, 11 p.m. Far out. Uh, like I was in turn, guys. So this is the hair tool. It's a hair tool. It's creating hair. And so that's what we're doing to this character. Oh, that is really annoying me. You know what? I'm just going to leave that for now. Have a break. Let's jump in back into Reillusion. Have we saved this one? Yes. Let's get file new project. Uh, who's the other person we're doing? We're doing Ian Schumacher. Da -da -da -da. images and so he's got this like he's got very high hairline no, I don't want a video I want there's not a lot of photos on him which is really annoying but you can say he's got this really cool hairline like cool hairline he's got this balding hairline but he's got the really long hair that's coming around him but he's actually pretty tank um, and then we've got a little bit of facial hair here and obviously he's got the mo as well so I don't think I really have a clear picture of him. Let's jump onto Patreon. 
because I think he's Banner. Mm, right, I ain't Patreon. Just okay. Post from my creators. There we go. Okay. Dang it. No, I need a photo of his head. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a photo. I swear I've seen a bigger photo of him. Where have I seen a bigger photo? Nope. Um, let me just quickly open up my emails. Maybe in there. Page. Here we go. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Does he have a photo in here? Oh, just freaking open it. There you go. So there's, there's his face. That's not helpful at all. Oh, hmm. Mm. Can semi gather. He seems to have not a thick jaw here. Oh, hang on. All right, what do we got? So is he dressed? No. Um, he doesn't have a thick jaw. It's a very s smaller jaw. Um, let me just quickly go into content. Uh, oh, dang it. Hang on. Projects. Let's click on projects. I don't want to get banned again. Hang on. Not banned again. That's a lie. But what I'm clicking on probably isn't the best apply morphs eyeballs teeth yes please sure why not let's just go with that dude's got a bikini <laughs> i'm sorry buddy <laughs> oh come on uh let's go into scene bra let's get rid of that um let's just put some clothes on him just so we're not looking at that <laughs> Uh, what are we, smart gallery, no, 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 visuals, no, wait. content, here we go, and then, ah, did it again, <laughs> for it, um, shirt, come on, give me a just plain shirt, essential clothing, oh, far out, actually, maybe that one there, No, I can't read your comments anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we've got to fix that a little bit later, but I'll, I'm just throwing clothes on him just to do it. Just put some clothes on. Uh, pants. Da -da -da -da. Where are these? I don't see him as white pants. Just throw some black pants on or something. Far out. So much texture painting. I mean, painting. I mean, stuff. Sneakers. Come on, just give me a pair of sneakers. He's a loafer's man. <laughs> no, I don't. I need, I need him. Oh my. This is the worst character mesh. Far out. Let me just quickly go back here and change the body. Because that body is not working for me. Um, let's just pick this chap. Replace costume. Load project. No, I don't want to save this current project. I'm just doing it off screen because I don't want naked people. Even though we just had it. So we're at 11 o'clock. Okay, so i got to remember that. Um, let me just quickly... Come on. Default. What is this scene? Delete that. Delete the mask. Delete that. Delete that. All right. So I've just picked a random thing. Oh gosh, how do I? I need to throw in lighting. I haven't played with scenery much. A light. <laughs> Duh. Key light. Good enough. Backlight. Oh, 
boy. No, put them both on there, you clown. Fine, whatevs. Okay. Let's just stick with that. <laughs> Fox. Actually, yeah, probably. Okay, so let's go back into here and kind of just work on the face. So looking at... Oops. Oh, just look, just sit there. So looking at the face, we can see that kind of like these bits here are a lot bigger. And the bottom lip here looks a lot straighter. So that's what we're going to work on first is getting those two bits up. And then, yeah, kind of like whatever that center area is. Um, so let's go mouth, go into the headshots. Let's go into mouth. Not the mouth height, mouth width. So we've got to find ah, ah, this thing. No, not that thing. Control Z. Come on. So I'm looking for these two options for maybe I can just do this. Nope, can't do that. Control Z. Let's maybe, nope, don't do that. Nope, don't do that. So definitely we'll go back into the mouth section. Lip, here we go. Let's do lip, 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 lower. I'm trying to find. Okay. Ah, oh, this is probably on the nose, I reckon. Seriously, I just want... There we go, bring that down a little bit. I'm pretty sure this might be under the nose. Dang it, not that one. What else could that be? So we've got obviously neck, jaw. Let's maybe bring in the jaw. Not like that. Jaw height, jaw width. Yeah, that looks not too bad. I don't think his chin's kind of that pointy though. So if we have a look, no, mm. it's not too bad, I guess. Whoa, forty-eight people, welcome, <laughs> cheese and whiskers. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe. Helps me out. Keeps updating my content. That's fine. I don't have... Actually, let's go back into that other image that I had of him. What his ears like? He's got hair all over his head. Oh, can't really see much. There's not a lot of photos of him. Just of his stinking good works. No way! Oh my goodness, look how fresh he looks! <laughs> That's when Blender had an effect in him too much. Ah <laughs> oh, man, this guy's awesome. Yeah, I probably could put the the goggles on him. Nose. Oh, I think he's got. Oh jeez, Control Z, Control Z. Don't break the jaw. I think once again on the nose. I want to work out what this bit. What is that called? Mouth. It is on the mouth. Lip. Okay, maybe if I move it around, it'll tell me what I'm moving. Nope. Control Z. All right, mouth. Oh. Mm. So I'm just going through it again. Must have missed it. Lip scale. Surely, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Mate. Right freaking here. Fair suck of the south. 
Oh. Didn't know about the inner mouth size. Oh, wow. You can even... The... the vulva? It's not a vulva. There it goes. Mouth protrillium. Okay, that's the depth. Okay. The angle. You can change the angle. Okay, that's cool. Oh, get stuffed. Ah, pish posh. Okay, I don't have those settings. All right, let's go back to the nose and we'll make the nostrils bigger. So let's go nostril scale. And then it'll be a bit wider as well. Very much so. If we come back into... Yeah, we can see that he's got that fairly big. It's not a big schnozzle like mine. Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, wow. 100 comments. Aussie thongs or thongs thongs? Aussie thongs. Nasso Libo Chris? I don't know. No Google Glasses. Ah, we can model them up pretty quick. Um, from here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be difficult. I think I might be lazy and just keep it at that. Um, and let's for now, because it is ten past eleven, I still gotta edit videos for tomorrow night. Let's just go save as CC underscore Ian. And then I can work on this a little bit off time. File, 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 export, FBX, Blender, Mesh, export, up one. Let's just create a new folder. Ian. Oh, there's a weirdest problem, but sure, whatever. Ian. Char underscore Ian. And then let's quickly go into that folder and update it. Actually, I should report that issue. It's the weirdest problem. Nope. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to short film racer characters, new folder, and this will be called Ian. So anyway, back to what we were talking about. 35 people. Cool. I lost a whole bunch of people. So this is what the scene looks like for those of you who have not been following along. So if we crack this open. There it is, shade is compiling down the bottom. And let's just press zero. Oh gosh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Sick. And then so this is, oh, stop. Uh, do I have that? Ah, geez, select the camera, there we go. And so this is what our scene will look like and pretty much the whole film is based in here. Um, obviously we've been building this, but now I've got to start trying to get the characters going and so on and so forth. Um, we can see we kind of fluffed up the rug a little bit to kind of, thank you very much for the follow. We fluffed up the, uh, rug a little bit just to give it a little bit of, um, character. Um, most of these textures are using the... Extreme PBR combo. Um, we still got to work on that. The, we've got like an air conditioner unit that we've had. Um, we've even created outside in the street. And so this is what our place looks like. So it's not too bad. It's coming along nicely. We put a lot of decals on there just to show some grubbiness. No, 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 no. Uh, crease? Upper crease? Oh, that's the nostrils. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, mouth. Corner crease. Yeah, what's the other thing you said? Whatever that is. Nope. Nope. Bah, pish posh. Anyway, so back to this, uh, that's where we were, and I'm gonna fix up this a little bit later. I gotta re-texture paint it. Um, I just wanna change the color of the beard to make it a bit thicker, 
as well. So that's done. Let's go file a new general select all. Actually, delete that default cube as always because nobody likes you. And then let's go import FBX. Come into Isaac up one level two Ian character Ian. Oh, jeez. Oh man. I think Town of Three D got it right with. Really awesome. Sorry, I'm just having a quick read of the comments. Awesome. Should I redo that? <laughs> um. <laughs> Ah, radio. Okay, so from those aren't the shoes that I picked. Ah, oh, that's right, it's a different character. Never mind. So from here, let's kind of start building on the face and the hair. And the reason why I'm doing it here is because then I can export all the facial hair and all that, bring it back into Character Creator, and then we can do kind of like all the um, textures and all that kind of jazz. So from here, let's continue on. So let's select our facey McFace face. Here, what has he got? He's got here down to the goatee and a little bit coming around. And then he's got the straight mo. So let's do that. Let's go into selection mode. I'm going to probably select all this. And then it comes down into here. And luckily enough, we've got this kind of like edge loop. No, we don't. This, this edge loop. Oh, come on. Cheese and whiskers. And then we'll select that. And then let's probably grab these four. Like so. Um, I haven't come out wide enough on this section that's looking very similar I might get rid of these vertices here and then we've got our wonderful Mo so I'm going to grab all that section in there all that let's grab our whatever that's called that we're having a wonderful discussion on. and down to about here-ish and then back around new vertex group and we'll call this uh, facial hair did i spell that right no, i don't really care let's click assign so from here we come into the particle system new particle hair let's go tab into object mode come down into vertex groups here uh, facial hair it'll be you know what like maybe 0.02 yeah that doesn't look too uh, i reckon actually i reckon 0.01 will make it a lot shorter. Then we can see we've got some stuff that we can delete. Maybe we can go into 500. I don't think we need a thousand there. Okay, cool bananas. From here, we press N, go into hair tool, which is a link in the description. Oh my goodness. I think Ian nose is a little bit thinner. You reckon? Because in kind of like this photo here, he seems seems rather thick. Yeah, he seems to have like a little bit of nostril nostrilism. Um, oh yeah, okay. Well, that's the video that we're looking at. Um, and then if we come into that there, you can see that yeah, it comes out. Maybe maybe it might be a little bit smoother along the nostril. yeah okay so let's just get the facial hair working um so we come up here into object particle thingamabobs um we're gonna have some sort of random hairs up there which we can probably get rid of I'm just trying to separate those there we go some go to the right some go to the left I think that this might be all a little bit too long. So that might be okay. I think, I think the hairs are a bit too long. They're about a centimeter. Mm. 
definitely down here seems to be a little bit too much. So we might go length, but we might shrink and then kind of just shrink that in a little bit. Maybe shrink these in a little bit. There we go. And then let's kind of, oh, maybe, okay. So I think I might've made that a little bit too wide. Definitely here, uh, what's that, length? Probably here is a little bit shorter. All right. And I'm gonna like just shorten that a little bit. Okay, so now from here we've got particle edit. I can go create settings and then we can go interactive grooming. Let's go align to tilt. This is all a bit rubbish here. So if we kind of like so, let's give it like full strength. Um, and we'll probably delete those up there. Come on. Go down. There we go. <laughs> That's a horrendous lighting. Hang on, let me just fix up that lighting. Uh, what do you delete? Uh, shift A, let's add in our lights. G, Shift D, Shift D. This is our main light. And we'll bump this up to 30. And then we can come into here. We can give that a bit of a Z bluey tinge. G to the Z. Looks kind of Boy George ish. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. That looks horrendous, that. All right, we got to fix that up. This texture is not the best as well. I think that's something we're going to work on, but that's a future Marco's problem because we're only worrying about the facial hair and we're going to bring that back into thingamabob, character creator three, alpha hash, let's just fix those. That doesn't really work, does it? <sighs> Oops, interactive grooming. This here is disgusting. Definitely cut this off. So let's go maybe back into the vertex groups. Facial hair, let's go tab into edit mode. And let's go into weight paint. Uh, subtract. Get rid of that. Get rid of all that. Um, let's bring the strength down. There we go. Let's now go back into object mode, come back into particle settings, interactive grooming. Ah, oh, does that not work? Oh, you suck. All right, let's delete that edit interactive grooming and we can see that everything's puffed up again strength okay let's bring that all back down bring it all back down um let's see parents so we can actually see our strings yeah cool bananas uh, that one goes that way that one goes that way go on get over there buddy Yeah, I think these strands are a bit too long. I reckon these are probably a bit too long as well. Uh, facial hair is the worst hair. Not really. It means I don't have to look at myself in the mirror. Um, done. 
So if you're new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit the 25k mark before the end of the year. And at the moment, according to the stats, I'm on track now. Okay, what are we looking at? Uh, let me just turn that parent strands off. Definitely will cut this down. Length, shrink. Oh, oh, no. Okay, let's go length, shrink. I think what I might end up doing is just deleting a whole bunch of faces. Oh, I'm not really happy with this. I think because I think it's this texture's putting me off. But I mean, this looks like crap as well. It really does. That's pretty horrendous. Isn't it like 2 a.m.? Uh, no, it's 20 past 11 at night. So yeah, it's starting to get tired. Yeah, it lifts the, definitely this won't be the texture I'll be using for the skin material. Um, this is kind of just something that we've slapped on together because there's been naked people on the stream, so i got to fix that up. <laughs> all right so yeah definitely so it's got to come like in yeah see there's too much here let me delete this edit um yeah maybe let's do that let's go back into white paint bring that all the way down and kind of let's really bring it down I think that's fine in there. Let's maybe go down to 200. And then we come back into here. Go back into particle edit. Interactive grooming. See how this, now it's like stupid patchy. Get stuffed. Go that way. You go that way. There we go. That's a little bit better. But yeah, this all looks yuck. This doesn't work at all. Oh, there is another texture I have somewhere, but I don't know where it is. And what it is, is it's more the individual hairs. And I think that's what I need here. Yeah, I'm going to have to find those textures. Because, I mean, these are kind of like the hair textures which aren't going to work. Um, if I go into the particle settings. So, for instance. It's not going to help me, though. So, let's. what I'm just going to do is, I think I'm going to start finishing up. Let's just quickly apply this. So, Control-Shift-H. Let's select the mesh. Control Shift H, curves to ribbons. So we've got this. And then if we go into UV editing, oh my God, it's just. And then maybe if I select everything, go G to the Y, G to the X, sorry. Something like that, maybe. G to the X. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Let's get rid of... Delete that edit. No, like... That seems a lot better. Um, obviously, it's going to be kind of... You know, we change the color. Let's see if I can change the color. Really simple, really, really quick. Opacity, base... No. The beard. Can I change the color? Oh. Tab, tab. And so if we make it kind of like a yellowy color, almost rangery color. So, I mean, that's, 
I mean, it still looks freaking dirty, but it's better. Oh, wait, no, here. Here, you silly billy. <laughs> Look, Billy Connolly. <laughs> oh, that dude was awesome. I'm trying to find kind of like an orange color. But that kind of works a little bit better. Obviously, we've got to clean up the mesh. So if we come back into layout. Um, so kind of like these here, we could probably get rid of. Control L, delete vertices. U2, Control L, delete vertices. Oop, then we've got this patch here. That's fine. Control L, Control L, Shift D to the X. Scale X minus one, just invert it, bring it up. And I mean, that that seems to work a lot better. The color, oh, we'll definitely, we've got to get rid of these ones like we were talking about earlier. Control L, delete the vertices. Is that still, hmm, that's not too bad, I guess. Definitely this skin texture is not, not the best. Um, but like I said, I'd probably use a different skin texture. And then here we would create those, the crazy hair that he has. I think technically I could get away with just, let's just do it. Go on, it's 11.30. Why not? What's a little bit more? So I haven't played with the hair tool too much um, in terms of using planes. I think probably this bit here would be best off using planes, um, but I've been pretty much just using curves and cards. So I think that's definitely something that I'll have to research in the future. So from here, let's create hair assign hit assign um probably actually i think we should probably go down a little bit further to maybe here ish nope don't grab the ear there we go that's not too bad and then we hit assign from here we go into object mode particles let's create a new particle let's create hair we don't need four meters of hair but we go with about point five nope let's go point one that's about right i'd say um come into vertex group density will be hair and now everything's on top from no it's fine beard before i forget because I think if I don't do that, then when I convert the hair to the mesh, then it would just overwrite that. But anyway, let's see. It's still kind of look patchy here, but in the other view, it's not too bad. So from here, let's go into particle edit, um, combing, distance, strength. Yep. So we'll go from probably about here-ish. Kind of like so. All right, uh, strength, we'll bring that down. Let's, whoa, hello. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring the strength back up, go into wireframe. All right, what is that hair? Actually, that hair works out well, so let's go back into solid mode. And kind of just Yeah, I think this would definitely be better for cards. Like, I haven't used it though, and that's the thing. I don't know how to. I gotta, that's something I gotta learn, and then I'll make another tutorial on it. Um, but tomorrow's tutorial, which I have to edit, let's see, what's 11 30? Um, uh, 
um even though yeah i have to edit it it'll be on using the what i'm doing now which is using curves with the hair tool um so i think this is all too uniform um is that length or puff no it's puff okay probably back here we could probably cut a something like that uh, strength maybe just randomize that a little bit Ugh. and then we go into huh that actually oops too much puff oh geez that scared the crud out of me thank you for the follow um That's not too bad. So if I go bump that up to one. Wow. That's not too bad. I I think this bit here. Yeah, I think going with cards is the way to go. But I mean, you can see that. Just kind of breaking this up a little bit. Yeah, that's annoying. If I could just... Oh, maybe I can add. Oh, silly Marco. What? Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Two. Is that about right? Uh, strength. Uh, tilt alignment's correct. All right, there we go. Um, and then from here, let's go into strength and kind of just moving this stuff around. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, let's move that back down. All right. <laughs> uh, puff. Is that puff? Yeah, it's puff. I think probably back here we could maybe bring that in a bit. We got some str stranded, got some hair strands that are going in weird directions. Well, that's fine. Come on, buddy, move around the hair. There we go. That's not bad. I'm just gonna save that for now. Oh. Uh. Bump. There we go. All right. Wow. Whoa. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheese and whiskers. Yeah. So I'm not too worried about hair color at the moment. Um, what I'm more concerned about is just getting the hair mesh correct ish. Um, because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing the hair and then bring it back into character creator three and applying it. Um, and the reason for that is, is especially with the facial hair, that means I can apply shape keys to the facial hair automatically. And then, so when I come in and put the facial motion capture over the top, um, that'll, you know, all work out well rather than having to manually kind of work out the shape keys for the beard just by itself. So yes. Uh, switch off screen folks <laughs> so that's what's going on with that wow 
Yeah, see, that's not too bad. I'm actually... What does this do? So definitely probably here... I would probably rotate the the hairs once again. So like we did on the other character. So for those of you who are new to the channel, yes, welcome once again. This is our scene where our animated short film will be taking place. Um, so if you want to keep through, blah, 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 if you want to keep up to date with all this stuff. So what I'll probably do is with here, once I apply the particle settings is I will do that hairline again, like we did with the Isaac character. And surprisingly enough, that to me is pretty good. Uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of grab these hairs and kind of just make them kind of interlock a little bit just to hide the bottom of that. But at the end of the day, that's not too... Ah, jeez. Strength. I'm actually fairly chuffed with that. And then kind of just... I'm going to kind of wiggle it around. Yeah, I'm fairly chuffed with how that turned out. The mow's not too bad. It's a little bit dirty, probably. Here, we could probably get rid of some more vertices. Control L, delete vertices. Maybe a bit more. Control L, delete those vertices. Oh, come on. Go away. So that's not too bad. But yeah, definitely we need to fix up that hair. Um, those lines are in there are the curves, which is fine. Uh, technically used burn since 2012, but stopped for eight. Stopped, yeah. So I actually came across Blender in 2001. And I wish I continued on with it, but I didn't. Um, and that was, you know what? When I was, I was young and I was stupid, I didn't see the potential. Um, the one thing that I know, and I know the exact reason why I stopped using Blender back then was because I didn't know about Shade Smooth. Like, you know, we're talking about computers 19 years ago. Um, and I like, I bumped up the subsurf to six and I'm like, I can't work like this. But then, yeah, I discovered Shade Smooth. So anyway, <laughs> um, hey, if you know of model, heck no, there is no way I'm modeling humans. So this is using reillusion. Um, we already had this discussion. I can't model humans or creatures to save the life of me. So I've just kind of bypass bypassed that. I started. Who are you? MD, 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 Maya? No? Mojo? Modo? Green Flamingo Entertainment. What a cool name. Lots of great albums. More Daz. Uh, no more than never. I use Daz. Yeah, I'm all about the um, re-illusion. And the whole point of re-illusion is because i got the facial motion capture. So, bam! Uh, I'm doing one of these. Now auto-smooth. That's a huge difference. I know. Oh my goodness, no. What is awesome is, 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 Marco, pull your socks up. Normals, auto smooth. That is the best, especially for hard surface modeling, enabling that. Poop nizzle. All right, I'm fairly chuffed with that. I'm just going to save it. Um, let's apply this. I'm going to select that. Control Shift H. Curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. Let's come into here. Control L. Delete the Z vertices. See, I just like how I, the hairs have somehow magically gone that way. So from here, I'm going to press O. Proportional editing. Rotate. Nope. Let's go connect it only. Uh, whoops. Rotate Z, nope, rotate Y. 
something like that. Hmm. How am I going to do that? Uh, let's just click on that and I'm going to delete the edit. Yes. And then I can delete that. So yeah, definitely in here is what we were talking about earlier. So I will probably kind of go like so control L and then we'll grab in here. I'm just going to kind of move that in and around G let's bring that up and then let's hide them and let's go yeah, through there. I'm going to bring this up. Now I can go Alt H. Oh, that didn't really work, did it? I think maybe I moved the other one. And what I might do is go C into wireframe, delete kind of like all them. Okay. What the heck of bottoms going on there? And then I might just go rotate that around just so it's like hanging out a bit more. Alt H. Yeah, there we go. And now I've got that like part happening and we've filled in that gap. Oh, you little ripper. Control C. However, I don't like this one here. I think that's giving me sass. Yes, a strand of hair is giving me sass. Yeah, there's a few hand, strands of hair that are giving me sass. Um, but yeah, I'll probably end up painting as well underneath. I don't know what's with these ones here. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Control L, delete vertices. So it's not too bad. Anyway. Um, let me just have a quick look at some comments. Whoa, I wasn't paying attention for a bit. I model humanoids now, but I'm an illustrator, so yeah, I'm not an illustrator. <laughs> Round out my skills more. I just downloaded 2.9. Yeah, what's what's with 2.9? What's going on? That came out of nowhere. Uh, I've been working on realistic uh, monster designs. That is cool. Um, a handful of add-ons that I don't want them to break. If I yeah, so. My big add-ons that I use are Extreme PBR Combo, Hair Tool at the moment, Simply Cloth, I use a bit of that. Auto Rig Pro is... Did I hear a child crying? I don't know. Scatter, um, I use... I do use KidOps every once in a while, but yeah, those are my main go-to ones. Uh, very stubborn. I'll still stable releases. Yeah, I think I'll probably stay on 2.8 for a while, 2.82 for a while. Um, because I jumped over from 2.79 to 2.8, I think a little bit too early, and that screwed me over. And I can't stand changing buttons, I got muscle memory, and it just breaks me. Um, uh, yes, so I do have hard ops, so I'm just catching up on. Hard Ops isn't a beast in its own. It is an amazing tool, but I think you really need to use it a lot just to get those all those workflows down packed. Um, and I got Box Cutter somewhere as well. Might not be it. Ah, Box Cutter was conflicting with another add-on, and my Blender was just having a hissy fit i can't remember which one it was though because i delete i disabled a whole bunch of blender add-ons 2.79 is fishing one away uh yes i agree with you on that one green flamingo make human i don't like make human i don't like the characters i don't like the way they look um i was a fan of mixamo when that came out but then as soon as they went over to adobe they removed a whole bunch of features which to me you know, I paid for it and then you're removing access to it, I think, which was pretty bad. Uh, it does look a little bit like Toby Maguire. <laughs> um, check, out, check out the new photograph add-on. It's free and amazing. 
Notepad. Photograph add-on. I will check that out. Uh, that's a better way to put it. Six dollars for scatter. No way. I've actually, I used it for the short film I created in ten days, Terraformer, and it turned out pretty good. I used uh, decal machine. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Where is decal machine? I don't know. Decal machines in here somewhere. I don't know. As you can see, I got a lot of add-ons. Um, I know by Jen by Chris Holt. I haven't used it though. That's something I should probably get a hold of. Oh, I've just drank a liter and a half of water and it's quarter to 12. Who's getting up in the middle of the night to wee? <laughs> but yeah, I might leave it at that. It was a really good night, actually. We got a lot done ish. Um, definitely going to be working on these more. Have to work on the characters offline. Um, I will. This video won't be up straight away because I have to actually remove it because it's going to get demonetized because there's naked people a little bit in it. So I've got to blur out that stuff. Um, but until then, yes. So tomorrow is a very abbreviated version of using the hair tool the way I've been using it tonight. Um, I just got to edit that video. Friday, I'm probably going to stop doing tutorials on Friday because three three tutorials and two live streams is quite a bit. Um, so I'll be back on Sunday night. I oh my, it came in the mail. Uh, I can't see myself. So this is Cat Loco motion capture, and so what that does is. Uh, they're charging at the moment but it gives you an extra three sensors uh, it gives you an extra three sensors that you can attach, attach to a VR headset and so that'll give me more motion capture range now so now I should be able to do feet and hip hands and head finally it was sitting in a month in our posting depot so that's good so be sure i'll try and use that on sunday we'll see i don't know how it work i've got to test it out first um but yeah other than that thank you very much guys um i'll see you guys sunday please make sure you like and subscribe and if you can share the channel around trying to trying to build trying to get bigger <laughs> and i think that's about it but thank you very much guys and I